Hi, Dr. Eric Balkavich, and we're back for another edition of Methylation Monday. Today I want to talk to you about what I call drug-induced anxiety. And this is this happens fairly often in my practice, and what happens is somebody gets put on a SSRI medication for depression, and while it alleviates maybe some of their depressive symptoms, at least in the short run, it winds up causing them to have anxiety, whether they realize or their doctor realizes it was the medication or not. Now, not everybody um, has anxiety as a result of going on an SSRI, but a lot of patients do. And so why would that happen? Well, the SSRI is, what it does is it blocks MAO. And when by blocking MAO, it increases the level of serotonin in the body and that gives them serotonin and that makes them feel better but serotonin actually slows an enzyme called comt comt is one of the main enzymes that actually helps metabolize epinephrine the fight or flight hormone or neurotransmitter so if you slow comt you're going to hold on to your epinephrine longer and you're going to have anxiety or insomnia or chronic pain syndromes or poor gi function now, not everybody has a problem when they take SSRIs, but a large majority of the patients do. So why? Why would they have this issue? Well, a couple things. One, somebody could already have a SAMe or a magnesium deficiency. So if they have a SAMe or magnesium deficiency and they've got high levels of epinephrine to clear already, the COMT enzyme is going gonna, is gonna to work a lot slower. If somebody's got elevated levels of estrogen, estrogen will slow that COMT enzyme down. And third, if the person has a genetic defect there, a, a polymorphism or a SNP at COMT, especially a homozygous SNP, that enzyme is going to be slowed even more. And so the patients who seem to get, have this drug-induced anxiety have one or a combination of these factors which really slows down or chunks down the COMT enzyme, causes their epinephrine levels to be ramped up, and that drives that chronic fight or flight response, which drives the anxiety, insomnia, G, poor GI function, and chronic pain. So I urge you to take a look at your patient files. If you have patients that are struggling with uh, anxiety and sleep disorders and chronic pain syndromes, take a look at their history again see if they had a, a bout of depression and were put on an ssri medication and if they were you've got to start to think about this as the possible mechanism for their anxiousness their anxiety their insomnia and their chronic pain syndrome so what would you do one if you're aware of that you want to do what you can to reduce slowly the serotonin levels two you want to reduce estrogen levels in the body the best you can. At three, you want to reduce the inflammatory load on the body and the elevated levels of cortisol because those will drive increased epinephrine expression. They'll drive increased inflammation. And we want to support with SAMe and potentially magnesium to make that enzyme work a little bit better. All right? So those are some of the answers that may help you. A couple other things you may want to do is support with methylated folate or potentially a form of B12 to help drive um, SAMe production. Lots of potentials, but I think the first thing that you want to do is be aware of what the potential mechanism was. Does what your patient ex is what your patient experiencing fit this kind of model? If it is, reduce the inflammatory load, regulate blood sugar, reduce their stress response, then work with them to support better clearance of COMT and hopefully you can work with the physician who prescribed the SSRIs that once their inflammation comes down maybe they don't need as much of the SSRI you can support the natural serotonin levels and we can start to wean the patient off the SSRI which will allow the COMT enzyme to work a little bit better so I hope that was helpful it's Dr. Eric Balkavage the methylation doctor. That's today's methylation Monday tip. Hopefully that helps for you.